Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome to, if you're new, my name is Abria Perry and welcome to my channel. So today I have my berated crown tutorial for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you have been seeing this look a lot. I am absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I actually came across it accidentally because on Christmas I did a blowout braid out and I was sick at the time. I literally sweated my hair out while I was sleeping. When I took my braid out, out, it was a funky mess. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And I had a pack of expressions braiding hair and my hair was already nice and stretched out from that braid out. So it was a match made in heaven. And ever since then, I have been loving it. And people tell me that they like it all the time. So I decided to film it for you guys because it's super easy, super cute. And I couldn't keep it to myself, so I had to share it with my loves. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this berated crown or natural hair, please stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment, and do not forget to subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I start this look off on stretched out hair. You can either blow your hair out or stretch it out. This day, I just wore my hair stretched for a few days um, in different styles. You can stretch it in twists. You can stretch it in braids and um, you know pull those back however you want. But I was just kind of around the house and I just stretched it out. Then I like to put a little bit of Shea Moisture Curl Milk on my ends and just get my hair a little bit more pliable. I did spritz my hair a little bit because I never comb my hair or kind of like manipulate my hair when it is bone dry. That is how you yeah, break it off. So I like to put a little bit of Shea Moisture Styling Milk on it just to start it off and get it going. Then I like to go in with my Dimmin brush and just kind of start to smooth it down. I like using my Dimmin brush for this because it gives me a nice sleek effect. Then I use a little bit of Eco Styler gel. I try to use this um, gel sparingly when I do this look just because um, it kind of gets me the desired look that I want just by using a little bit. So I start off with a tiny bit and then if I need more I go on and you know add a little bit more but just start off with a bit because you'll find that using the Denman brush helps you out to not need as much gel as well as using a hard bristle brush which is what I'm using right now and it is a dual sided hard bristle and soft bristle brush um, so I use both sides After I've smoothed it out, I pull it back into a ponytail and then just add a tiny bit of edge control. Again, not too much um, because I don't like to have a whole bunch of product in my hair, but just enough to kind of get that nice, sleek, laid baby hair look that we all love so much um, when you want to do styles like this. I don't always sleek my edges down with every style that I do, but I just feel like it fits this look very well, which is why I use edge control for this particular look. Then I go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other side of my hair. Same steps, same products all that good stuff and once I have my hair in two separate ponytails I go ahead and use another ponytail holder to combine those into one ponytail as you can see my hair is not parted all the way down the middle it's simply bust down the middle in the front of my hair because that is the part that we see we don't want it to look like two ponytails we want it to look like one nice sleek ponytail to fits our look once I've done that I just continue to smooth my hair out and make sure that it is good for me to apply my braid with my braiding hair 
I like to pull my hair out um, at the nape of my neck a little bit and kind of do a little curly cue. Then I go in with my Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Healing Spray. I really, really love this stuff. It gives my hair a really, really nice shine when I do styles like this. And it also helps to keep my hair a little bit more sleek. So I did not use as much Eco Styler because I knew that I was going to go ahead and use this product later in the video then i lay my scarf down and let all that set for a bit you can leave your scarf on for as long as you want um as long as you know that it takes your hair to not go anywhere um but i left my scarf on for a little while while i did the braid for this video and once you do this braid you really don't have to do it again I did a new braid for the purpose of this video but I have a couple braids that I've done before and I literally just reuse them stick them on the ponytail twist it around and go I like to comb the braiding hair out a little bit and add a little bit of eco styler for the flyaways then I just tie it onto my hair like a normal ponytail and go ahead and braid that bad boy up just a normal braid like you would do any other braid um you don't have to make it too tight obviously you don't want it too loose but you don't have to do it too too tight that it kind of looks like super duper uniform you know because um you wouldn't necessarily get your real hair that uniform if you were to do a style like this with your real hair so I braid it pretty much all the way to the end and then what I do is I twist it around once around my own bun once I've twisted it around my own bun once I pull it over to the front of my hair and pull it across and then the rest of that I pull around my own bun again and I like to loosen up a little bit of the hair um, that is gonna go around my own bun and I just twist that around my bun and then lock it in with a few more um, scrunchies and bobby pins to make sure that bad boy is secure and it's not going anywhere also after I've put some bobby pins in the back I also like to put some bobby pins in the front of my hair um, just to make sure that the braid isn't going anywhere in the front but typically I do it tight enough that um, if I tie down the back of my hair then the front of my hair is pretty pretty secure Once I've done that, I just smooth my baby hairs out a little bit more, make sure that everything in the front looks the way that I want, as well as, you know, the hair in the back. Um, do my baby hairs a little bit with my toothbrush, my handy dandy edge toothbrush, which I need to get another one of. If you do use an edge toothbrush, make sure you don't keep it too long because it gets old and caked up and can really, really mess up your edges and all your hard work of taking great care of your hair. So then I just play with it a little bit more, get it the way I want, and that is the finished look. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. It's a great protective style, and I hope you try it out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at I am Bree Perry.